Today is the end of day two in Kathmandu. We unfortunately did not get the water testing kits in. We weren't able to test the water. The fear is that as the we have tremors and there's changes in the water table, that contamination may be coming into the well. So we're hopeful that we can get those in and be able to do those tests on an ongoing basis very soon. Um, we had nine tremors yesterday, which also didn't help. They were anywhere from 4.3 to 5.7. So. Uh, that again raises concern that the water changes may be um, filtering in some contaminated water. We had a couple of visitors to the campsite last night. This was the first night in the new tents. My roommates obviously were very comfortable. We expanded our camp by a couple of tents. Tent city is growing. Pushpa assigned some schoolwork today. She tries to get back to some normalcy. We unpacked the coloring books that we'd brought. They were a big hit. Oh, so nice. So nice. But the reality is that these kids still are prison children, and uh, one of the children's mothers called. Today's snack, this bar saves lives. Thank God they liked them, because they brought a thousand of them with me. While the kids colored, I took off to see other parts of the city. And this right here is why my wife doesn't like me riding on a scooter. This is where the road had risen some nine feet in places and literally pulled apart. Sadly, there were streets like this all over. The damage is incredible. People were trying to clear their houses off the streets so that traffic could pass. Is it okay? Many were just looking for some normalcy. This couple reopened their carpet store in the middle of all of this devastation. And this man opened his meat store for the first time since the earthquake. But there are just a lot of people affected and incredible damage. And tensions are getting high, illustrated by these two men fighting over who is responsible for the damage to the other's house. And sadly, this boy, Pushpa's neighbor, broke his leg when a wall fell on him. His best friend was not as lucky and lost his life. So, unfortunately, we weren't as productive as we hoped today, but I do feel like we're moving forward and we're making progress. Um, thanks to everyone who supported all of these efforts through screenings and through different ways of fundraising. It's been really fantastic. Um, this has all been shot on a Qualcomm Motorola phone that, uh, that we're really lucky to have. And we thank them for, uh, for allowing us to shoot this and their contributions as well. Thank you and we'll see you tomorrow.